Hi everyone, there's a new bit of math that I'd like to share with you. It's a new way to think about entropy from a pure mathematical perspective. You can find the ideas in this open access paper, but I also wanted those ideas to be accessible to non-experts. So I recently wrote a new article on the same topic, but targeted at a wide audience. And this result about entropy in pure math is really just a small theorem that connects three things information theory, abstract algebra, and topology. And that's interesting because traditionally these don't have much to say to one another. And yet, as we'll see, they actually go hand in hand. Now, the ideas ultimately are a bit advanced, and yet I start by assuming the reader knows very little about higher mathematics. So the paper opens with a short introduction to information theory and something called Shannon entropy, which I'll just call entropy followed by a few words of motivation, why I think this is worth writing about in the first place. Then there's a brief introduction to the landscape of higher mathematics with special attention given to abstract algebra, which is like a sophisticated version of the algebra we learn in school, and topology, which I like to think of as a squishy version of geometry. With that background in mind, we're then ready to revisit entropy. Now before sharing more, let me just say, the difficulty level of this paper increases with each section, so it starts off pretty easy and then climaxes somewhere over here. To help the reader distinguish between the big picture ideas and the technical details, some paragraphs are decorated with a little triangle. These contain details that can be skipped if desired, they're there for the curious, but I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. In any case, some parts might be very easy, others more difficult, but I do hope there's some interesting middle ground for everyone. Now, back to the math. What's the paper about anyway? Remember, I want to share with you a little theorem that connects information theory, algebra, and topology. Here's the setup. First, I've mentioned the word entropy a few times, but what is it exactly? Entropy is just a number that's assigned to a list of probabilities, that is a probability distribution, which can be thought of as a measure of surprise or information content. Now, for each natural number n, the set of all probability distributions on n things is actually a topological space called a simplex, which are famous little spaces in the world of topology. This means that entropy is not just a number, it's a function. And it's not just one function, it's a collection of infinitely many functions. And, even better, these functions are actually continuous, that is, they behave nicely in the eyes of topology. But there's one more layer to this, and this is where algebra comes in. In algebra, we combine things to form new things. We can multiply numbers to get a new number. Likewise, there is a way to combine probability distributions to get a new probability distribution. For example, you can imagine flipping a coin and then choosing a meal for either breakfast or dinner based on which face the coin lands. Now it's natural to wonder, what is the entropy of this new composite distribution? The answer, it turns out, is given by a formula sometimes called the chain rule for entropy. This is important because it uniquely characterizes entropy. That is, continuity and the chain rule together are like entropy's fingerprint from a mathematical point of view. More formally, it's a theorem that any other entropy-like function satisfying the chain rule must actually be equal to entropy or to some constant multiple of it. So there's some algebraic structure lying around and entropy interacts with it in a very principled way. And this prompts a new question. Where does the chain rule fit in the world of abstract algebra? What kind of thing is it? This very mystery was posed in a 2011 blog post by John Baez, and an answer is given in the papers I mentioned. Here's the punchline. The algebraic structure of probabilities finds a very nice home in the theory of something called operads, which are abstract gadgets with origins in algebraic topology. The connection between operads and probabilities was first made by Tom Leinster several years ago. And around the same time, Baez observed that the chain rule looks a lot like the product rule or the Leibniz rule from calculus, if you squint your eyes a little bit. But calculus is not the only place where the Leibniz rule appears. In general, a function satisfying a version of that rule is called a derivation, and derivations are a staple in the world of abstract algebra. And the chain rule suggests that all these ideas are related, and indeed they are. That's the new small theorem I mentioned earlier. There's a way to go back and forth between Shannon entropy and what I call derivations of the operad of simplices. 
Explaining this correspondence and the words involved is the goal of this paper. These ideas and more are now outlined in a new perspective of entropy which you can find online and in the description below. Lastly, this work relies heavily on the masterful expositions of both John Baez and Tom Leinster. Their clear and accessible writing is what initially drew me to this problem, and the narrative I share in the article closely follows their work. I'm also grateful to everyone who shared feedback on both my original publication and this new explanatory article. So thanks everyone. I hope you enjoy thinking about this new little facet of entropy.